I'm worried about everybody else's driving because you don't know what they're going to do. And all the semis coming down, going on the de detours, the roads are going to be extremely crazy. A major construction project is coming to the area and will affect thousands of drivers every single day. RTV6's Jason Strong visited Westfield today and has more on the frustration surrounding US 31. The impending closure on US 31 on April 4th through Carmel is coming fast and motorists are learning more about detours they will have to make. The through traffic, including the semis, uh, will be signed to take uh, Keystone Parkway and I-465 around the closure. 465 already has its share of tractor trailers. However, Keystone Parkway through Carmel was rebuilt a few years ago and designed with passenger cars in mind, not big 18 wheelers. That's all changing. The truck traffic is, is currently permitted on Keystone because of the construction work. With all this new traffic expected soon, it is bringing up some important questions from drivers. How are we all going to fit on those small little streets for that period of time? With the semis, it's going to be a lot more uh, traffic and a lot more, um, you know, waiting at the stoplights and stuff. While the traffic is sure to slow, NDOT officials are confident that the Keystone Parkway detour will be able to handle all the extra traffic. The traffic modeling shows that Keystone will be able to handle the, dis the displaced traffic. There will be some additional congestion, especially during the peak traffic periods, uh, but, 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 the, uh, but the route will handle, handle uh, the displaced traffic from US 31 as a detour. While models can account for the traffic, Nancy Kaiser's concerns are with the drivers. People are going to be lost, confused. It's going to be so backed up with the truck drivers and the other people, and you're just going to have to be cautious on everything you do. Jason Strong, RTV6.